We just got home. And now Jace is driving up to Canada. Hey, bye guys. Bye. bye. going through the RV right now and if she finds stuff that we didn't talk about that are illegal to bring over the border we just got home and our house is like a oven and now Jace is driving up to Canada to go to a funeral his grandpa died which is sad but he's going to go up and take who are you taking dad Hey, whoever makes it in the car in <laughs> Like we've literally got home an hour ago and he got the RV ready, um, all cleaned out or like water in it, whatever. And now he is loading it up and he's gonna drive to Canada, which is gonna be like 16 hours. This is like a whirlwind of a week. I got a couple water bottles filled up, bag of snacks for them. Dad is taking the boys in Raquel. So I'm hoping that they can kind of do some kind of fun adventure thing while they're up there. They will have cousins and some fun people that they'll see, so that's great, but not really like the birthday adventure that you would want. So we might do something fun when she gets home. We are hurrying as fast as we can to get these kids loaded, all their clothes in here. Cora's been a big help. We just cut back, so the puppies are so cuddly right now because they missed us. Raquel's putting her stuff in the bathroom. We are hurrying as quick as we can to get these kids out of here. Um, and Jace. Wyatt, the dogs are gonna miss you. Hi, Fila. She's like, what's going on? Are we gonna go on a trip? We loved our last trip, huh? Comment if we should go on more RV trips or more plane trips, because that was a big decision. Hey, here comes Papa. Cora, give hugs, say goodbye. All right, you guys be safe. Be a good helper to dad. Hey, bye guys. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Oh, buddy. You're so sad your Wyatt's gone. Okay, let's go in the house. girls get to stay in our house but guess what our AC is broken again it's so stinking hot in here it's like 85 degrees inside the house okay it's trying it's 81 right now and it is 8 p.m. like that's so hot best part about going home is the hair <laughs> just kidding it's farm breakfast and all the elders and all the cool so we just parked and this is actually a rehab center. My great aunt, whose farm is the one we lived on when I was a kid, she's in here and her husband is the brother of my grandpa whose funeral is tomorrow. So I'm making all the stops at all the people that helped basically raise me. And it's, it's heart wrenching. I've got two more stops I'm not gonna talk about. It's even more heart wrenching and yeah, so. We're all emotional. <sighs> I can't even say it. <sighs> it's hard to see your rock stars uh, go through life. Just for fun, I was a kid in this house right here. These silos right here are one of my favorite things on the entire planet it means I'm close to heaven. It is... It is. I just got back from the funeral. And funny story, my dad left with my grandparents to go see other cousins. And 
He took the RV keys, so I was stuck in my skirt, but my aunt, look, we had some leggings. They fit in the comfiest thing in the world. <laughs> We're gonna go shoot cobras. I'm so ready for this. It was so much fun. It feels cool, doesn't it? You it is. It's really cool. <laughs> so now, wow, my hair got big. This is the little market that I would go to, and I would save up all my pennies, and I'd buy these little squishy dudes with a parachute on the back of them so I could climb the hay bales and toss them off. And it was my favorite thing. It was my favorite thing. So look at how old this store is. So I'm going to go in just for fun. <laughs> Kind of been updated. This is exactly what it was like before. Just the old scale they used to actually use is now an antique. <laughs> you know this the shop I always went to, bro? To like get food? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. The Evie has been asking and asking and asking and asking and asking almost every two weeks or every week since we got her ears pierced. Uh, to do what? To take them off. Okay. She has new earrings. Yep. These ones that I can't give me. What are these? Are these green head biscuits? They are plumerian. Plumerian. I'm gonna take these. Here we go. Come the first year. And we're in. So weird. It didn't even feel it. Because it's a hole. She says it's a Okay. How do they look? Before you're 12, dad is a stinker. <laughs> How do you feel? It feels great. Like it just feels normal to have earrings in now. But it looks so weird now because they're different earrings. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> they're green. <laughs> so I hit two bullseyes on the orange. I knocked off the can and the milk carton. I'm feeling accomplished right now. <laughs> oh, we got everything done. We saw everybody, we helped a bunch of people. We got to give the kids one last time to see some of their grandparents. Raquel even got to drive the dune buggy. Got to go out into the pasture with some targets on her birthday. And now it's time to put this RV away. So I have to pull in that whole side, pull in that side, then pull in that side, and unplug it from my great grandma's house. And then we will get on the road. So I have to say goodbye to the farm. I'll give you one last view in the RV. Oh, good job, gentlemen. Prepping for departure? Yep. 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 So I slept up there in the bed. This whole thing's gonna come in. This whole thing's gonna come in. And this hallway that's nice and wide is gonna get like this. So, let's do it. All right, so now, this whole wall right here literally is all gonna move in on me. Ready, set. Oh wait, I forgot. I need to pull the bed in first. <laughs> all right, the master bed is coming in. Closer, closer. And look, the RV is all put back together. All right, so there's a big list of stuff that I guess you're not supposed to take through the border. We had no idea. The lady's going through the RV right now and if she finds stuff that we didn't talk about that are illegal to bring over the border, it's a $300 fine per item. So we're waiting. I'm filming out here to tell you about it. We'll see what happens. Okay, she's out of the RV, about to get back in. She had a pile of stuff. I guess it's illegal to bring grapes if on the box it doesn't say made in the USA. 
and she was telling me how dangerous these grapes are because they're from Mexico. And I wanted to say, but didn't, but they were already brought into the USA. I didn't, I didn't just land at your border from Mexico with grapes. These grapes were imported into the US and sold by Costco to me. And they've been in my van the whole time. So I didn't say that. So then she told me how oranges are dangerous, which we didn't have any, but then how rice is very dangerous. And if she finds rice in our RV, and she was nice, but man. And then she's like, you had an avocado. Do you know what that means? I said, is it a $300 avocado? No, because you're coming back from a funeral. I understand you didn't know, but there's a warning on your record. So when you come through the border again, they're gonna ask you again. So whatever, we're getting through. No idea avocados were the spawn of Satan. It's apparently the original sin fruit. All right, we finished filming a fun little thing that's gonna go on our YouTube Shorts. You guys will have to keep watching because YouTube Shorts, we're doing some fun and silly things. But tonight, our fancy dinner is peanut butter and jelly. And look at these girls. I just had to share that my Evie girl is growing up. Look, we changed her earrings again. For this third time today. Look at these little mermaids. Yes, third time. Dolphins, I mean. And she's going to Young Women's. Guess what, when we started YouTube, Clay just started going to Young Women's. Really? Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Raquel, Shea White. Right? All right, we've been driving another six hours. We just stopped because my parents know of this random taco truck in the middle of Montana, and it is street taco time. Yeah? Yeah. Shea, are you freezing? No. Oh. I'm not cold, Dad. I'm totally fine. Okay, let's eat. Well, it's really windy outside, so we finished eating our tacos in a bus. And now, going out of the bus to get back into my bus, to get back on the road, and to go crazy. So, let's we'll see what other adventures await us. Hopefully, we don't need to get boarded. <laughs> Disgustingly, the RV needs to take a dump. <laughs>